Hey everyone, Skyman here. I'm going to be doing a review on the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Bear Gears from the packaging. This side of the packaging. There's this side of the packaging. Here's the top of the packaging. Here's the bottom of the packaging. Here's the back of the packaging. Come with the backdrop right here. It's the same thing that the Bumblebee came with, and I'm not going to get clunk and Bumblebee by the way, but it's the the, the little. Uh, Power plant battle from the first movie. The rear bear can is a police car mode, as you can see. It's basically what it looks like in the first three movies. Well, he wasn't in the second movie. It rolls okay. I don't I don't know if I have everything centered properly, but it does look pretty nicely. Looks pretty uh, accurate to what it looks like in the uh, movies, as I said before. For comparison, here is with the uh, the Dark of the Moon barricade. I don't have the first movie barricade. Well, I did have him, but I don't have him anymore. But there is with the first. No, Dark of the Moon barricade. Here he's with the Last Night barricade right there. And here he is with the uh, the 1974 Camaro Bumblebee. Again, I'm not going to get clunk of Bumblebee. I'm just going to stick with that Bumblebee right there. And uh, he does come with this little saw blade weapon. Looks pretty nice. And you can store this in the vehicle mode. There's a little uh, slot that will just go right into there. And... Uh, yeah, that's the storage you get. Now, to transform, first thing you want to do is you want to untab this part right there, I believe. Then, uh, let me raise the camera up. Once you get that untabbed, I think you want to start untabbing more stuff right here. Let me do it off camera. Just untab everything. Just get us all untabbed right there. Just move the, uh, the arms out of the way. Move these windows down. That's one thing I should probably mention. Just move the windows down right there. Flip the hand out. Let me do it off camera. Flip the hand out, fold that up, that will tab in, then just bend the arm right there. We'll eventually uh, peg in to right um, there, I believe. And um, hold on one second. Hold on, let me try it with the other arm. Just wanna bend that up, tab that in, flip the hand out. And one important thing you should probably do is flip the fingers out like so. Just separate the thumb from the two other fingers and you'll uh, get the hands all done. Let me just um, make sure I did everything right on the other arm. I think so. Then uh, just untab all this. It's already untabbed. Then fold that. That will rest back there. Undo the legs. Then just fold this right there. I think I'm doing this right. I'm not sure. Then just un raise this up like so. Rotate that like this. If I can do this. Hold on one second. I'm having troubles here. There we go, then rotate, then rotate that part right there, like so. Flip the head up like this, if I can do it. Let me just see if I can get it. Yeah, there we go, then fold these pieces down, like so, and uh, or I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Hold on, then just tab that in, doesn't tab in. You just wanna fold this up like so. It'll just rest up against there. And you gotta chicken leg him, so just chicken leg him real quick. I'll do that off camera. And um, we're just about done, I believe. And uh, uh, wait, I think that's on a... Okay, there we go, that's on double hinge. You wanna have it like that, I believe. And, uh, and um, just wanna, let me quickly do this right here. And, um, uh, there we go. I think we have Studio Series Barricade in his robot mode. Now. It turns out you want to have these push those pieces up like so. Then you got them properly transformed into. For the articulation legs and heads on a ball joint looks side to side, looks up and down just a little. Arms can rotate. You can also use that butterfly joint right there. Arms move outward, rotate as I said before. Elbow joint and the wrist can only do that right there. Just do the transformation. No race rule. Hip joints move this much outward. Kick forward, back, thigh rotation. And the knees can do whatever you can because they're um, chicken ledge. And the feet can move up, but you move that piece. Well, actually, never mind. You can move the feet up without moving that piece. That's all the articulation you get, I believe. School book's pretty nice for the most part. I think his optics are painted red. I'm not sure. And I think there, as you can see them right there. The figure does look pretty nice for the most part. It looks fairly accurate to what it looked like in the first movie and the Dark of the Moon movie, as you can see right there. It looks fairly accurate for the most part. And I will show you how to you how you use the weapon, how you put it in his hand. So uh, you just want to close the fingers up like so, and you just put that right into the the hand like so if I can do this let me do it off camera because it's easier and there we go there we have him with the saw blade weapon that he had in the, the first movie and uh 
for comparison. Series with the Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Barricade. I thought this was the much more accurate barricade compared to the first new one, but uh, yeah, this guy just reclaimed this guy's title right there. Series with the Last Night Barricade, which is obviously a completely brand new design. Series with 1974 Camaro Bowlby right there, and again, I will not be getting Clunk Bowlby. Stands about five inches tall right there, I believe, or maybe four and a half inches tall. Bye from our viewing studio series Barricade. Bye.